Hey, how's it going YouTube? Jacob here for the J2H channel and today we have another Blu-ray Yeah, just Blu-ray. <laughs> a Blu-ray digital combo pack review of Dark Web Cicada 3301. So it is I, when I read it in my mind, I, I read it as 3301 and not 3301, and that's correct. It is 3301. So Dark Web Cicada 3301. Not sure. I looked and I don't I didn't see that there's a, an original Dark Web film. And they only refer to it as Cicada 3301. So I'm really not sure what the um, what the precursor Dark Web has to do. Maybe they're going to make more of these films. I'm not sure. But for now, it's kind of arbitrary. I refer to this as Cicada 3301. Um, but they, it really... The thing that brought me... To, or uh, first caught my eye about the Steelbook is this awesome slipcover, which I am smudging horribly with my oily fingerprints... The blue in this is awesome. It, I don't think the camera is doing it justice, but like the hold on. No, it's not. It's not picking it up. Like all the numbers in there are like. Oh, there's a little bit of it. It's really cool, man. Uh, and it even continues on in the back. It's not just the front. Um, okay, some of the back. Uh, but anyway, it stars no one you'll ever hear of. Uh, Jack. Casey, I'm gonna go with Casey, Connor Leslie, and Alan Richson. Uh, is that's that's a lie. I actually recognize a couple of these people, but they're not they're not that's not the point of this. They're not well known stars. Um, I believe that is Alan Richson who I recognize, but the star of the show, my one of my personal favorites. So it's not just that he's great in this. I just love this actor, um, and you can kind of see him there. Uh, Mr. Ron Funches plays is that Avery or Avari? Avi. Um, Ron Funches. Hilarious. I love Ron Funches. He's great in this. Um, I, I just have a weak spot for Ron Funches. <laughs> he could have been played by anybody in this, but it's Ron Funches. So, you know, it automatically like, okay, can't, it can't be that bad. Um, so this is essentially about Mr. And there's not good here. I'll use the back. So here's the back. Um, there's the side. I just like the way this looks. Like, I think that's gonna look badass on a shelf. You got the, the tiny lion's gate. I love how, like, um, what's the word? Not incognito, but like how low low profile. There you go. How low profile. Like, look at that. Just it, just the little things, like the cicada. Like I don't know. I just think it's awesome. Usually it's like half the logo. So, so that is Jack Casey, who is Spencer. Hold on just a second. I gotta sneeze. Ah, oh, excuse me. Can't be doing that on camera in 2021. Uh, Connor. I'm sorry. So not Connor. And Gwen. Gwen. Um, so that's Connor. That's Gwen. So she is a librarian. And I kind of spoil who she is on the back. No, I lied. Yeah. Oh, Outrun Aggressive and NSA Agents. No. Okay, so they don't. They do on the Voodoo profile. So I watched this on digital. Because um, it comes with the digital code there, and it definitely spoils who she is in the voodoo description. But so she is Gwen. She's actually a librarian. That's not the spoiler. And he is a bartender or slash bar owner named Connor. Ron Funches is his wealthy best friend, and that is an NSA agent. So essentially, Connor, sheesh, Connor is um, kind of down on his luck, and he's a hacker, and he hacks someone's Bitcoin one day because they were being a, a douchebag in the bar. And he hacks their Bitcoin and takes it, and then he finds a, a, the the uh, Cicada file, so the Cicada 3301 file, and he proceeds to file follow down the. Here's the standard Blu-ray, not nearly as eye popping, I don't believe. And I like this ribbon too. I'm a big fan of Lionsgate's artwork and the way they release stuff. But he follows down the rabbit hole, and it gets crazier and crazier. And he's trying to, it, he's trying to lead them back. Or it's trying to lead them back to, like, their, their leader. Because it's essentially, like, a cult of, like, the smartest of the smart. They have all these, these like, uh, regulations and these rules and these steps. And, you know, each one is different. And, yeah, it's a, it's a little, uh... I wouldn't say convoluted, but that's that's how it goes. You, you know, what kind of... It's like a thriller. Like a puzzle movie, but you don't know the puzzle. Like, it's not like it's... They put it on screen and like, oh, this, this, and this. By the time he kind of realizes it, they, they haven't even usually shown the clues. It's kind of like, oh, I got it. And then you move on. It's not a big central part of the story. It's kind of just his his journey. But yeah, Ron Funch is in this. And Ron Funch is, like I said, is the, the wealthy best friend. And there's the NSA agent. There is some really bizarre 
humor in this. And I don't mean that it's not funny. It's just, I wouldn't expect it. This seems more like a dark, gritty thriller, like, mi not mystery. Um, yeah, I guess it says clues. Like a mystery film. And there's some really weird humor. Um, and again, not weird that it's not funny. It, it, it generates a laugh or at least a grin. It's just weirdly placed. Um, and then there's some stuff at the end I didn't quite enjoy. Um, as well as the lead, I, I don't like, uh, this seems like great value version Ron Reynolds, which isn't this guy's fault. It just seems like if this had a, if the studio maybe had more, uh, what you, what you call it, faith in this, maybe they would have tried to get a Ryan Reynolds or they said, Hey, we need to get someone Ryan Reynolds-esque and Jack Casey Kessie just happens to be involved. It doesn't take you anything back from the movie. It's just kind of obvious, I think. So if you've seen Dark, Dark Web, Cicada 3301, let me know. If you know of a prior dark web film, let me know. Um, or a sequel, maybe. Or is this in development? I believe this is a 2021 film. Yeah, 2021 film. So, obviously, the sequel's not out yet. Maybe even development. I don't know. But thank you to Lionsgate for sending me this to check out. I'm glad I gave it a watch. Um, and I will put the link to support both Lionsgate and physical media in the description. I highly recommend um, doing both. Supporting um, Lionsgate and physical media. We need, we need more physical media. We need it now more than ever. And, um, yeah, I appreciate these things still getting physical releases. And comes with the digital code, too. So you get best of both worlds. It's very affordable. Usually these standalone Blu-rays are under 20, sometimes under 15 on release day, which this has been released a minute ago. So, yeah, thank you so much to Lionsgate for sending me that to check out. Thank you guys so much for watching me review it. Um, kind of a long-winded review. These last couple have been a little longer, but... Uh, also check out my links in the description. I have a podcast. I co-host Mr. Crazy Joe. Drops every Friday. Be sure to check that out. If there's one link you check out in the description of mine, not, not the Amazon link, I think all of you should check that out. Uh, the podcast. I recommend the podcast highly over my Instagram and Twitter. Simply because I don't have enough time for Instagram and Twitter right now. I'm sure I'll be more active on Instagram. And I am more on the weekends. Twitter, I just, I don't, I don't do a whole lot. There's not much to do on Twitter. Um, also check out my TV Time and Letterbox, where I rate and review all the TV shows and movies I watch. Uh, Blu-ray.com, where I, you know, categorize and move and shake and all the, you know, the reviews and stuff. Also run um, Blu-ray.com and eBay, where I buy and sell stuff, though the eBay page is currently empty. But I'm hoping to change that. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you later, YouTube. Whoop. Hey, have you liked yet? Have you subscribed yet? Go ahead and smash that notification bell as well. And also check out these additional options. We've got a video you may or may not enjoy. We've got a playlist. You'll probably enjoy it. It should contain this video if I did it correctly. And also go ahead and uh, show that subscribe button some love. I would appreciate it.